Good morning, church. Good morning. Do you know who we are? The We're the body of Christ. What's our job description? Love, love God, love neighbor, make disciples. Here at First Grand, we have a mission, and that mission is loving our community into becoming followers of Jesus Christ. We do this by inviting, welcoming, connecting, growing, serving, and loving. As we come to our time of prayer this morning, there are several prayer concerns that need to be lifted up. First of all, we need to be in prayer for John Lynn. He is resuming chemotherapy treatments after they have discovered his cancer has returned. Herb Smart was scheduled to have surgery on Thursday, and we want to be in prayer for him as he recovers. Nolene Pittman is due to have surgery this coming Thursday, and we want to be in prayer for the healing spirit to be upon her. And we extend our sympathy to Dee Ruane and her family. Her father died this past week in Pennsylvania. Will you then join me as we pray? Gracious God, we come in a Sunday during Advent that's supposed to be set aside for joy. And we lift our voices to sing and we hear with joy the music that is to be presented. But our joy is tempered, O oh God. It is tempered by our worry, by our sickness, by our longing for something that looks normal and nothing does. We come praying to you, O oh God, for those who are wrestling with COVID, for those who are dealing with cancer, with upcoming and recovering surgeries, and those who are sorrowing because of death. And in all those situations, we come asking for your spirit to be among the people whom we have named aloud, and those whom we name in our hearts before you. Our joy is not limited to whether or not Christmas is normal as we know it. For Christmas is your gift to us, your great gift of a Savior, Jesus Christ our Lord. And we give you thanks, O God, for that great gift. Give us joy. Give us joy even if it's in the morning after the evening of sorrow. For we know that your joy surpasses anything that this world can do. Teach us to live in your joy to live as your people in the world. We come praying in the name of Jesus Christ, and as he has taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. For the health and safety of all our worshipers, because the number of COVID infections in Grand Prairie continues to grow, the Church Council decided that Sunday worship will be online only through January 3rd. Christmas Eve has two possibilities. At 2 p.m., there will be a drive-through live nativity experience. 
And so you may want to come to that during the daylight hours. At 6 p.m., there will be a drive-in combined parking lot worship service. And we'll gather in the youth building parking lot and tune in to an FM station for the sound and be socially distanced in our cars. This afternoon, there is a virtual town hall meeting this is a chance for us to check up on each other and to share ideas and thoughts about the church. You will need to contact me before four o'clock <laughs> to get the Zoom sign-in information so that we can all talk to each other. Christmas poinsettias, it's time friends. Those orders are due tomorrow. And I know you're asking, well, why would I want to decorate the church sanctuary if I'm not going to be there? Well, it turns out we have an idea about that too. So stay tuned to the announcements. But next, on Wednesday, we will have a live Zoom event. You can join in singing Christmas carols with everybody else who turns in on Zoom. So. Um, tune in live Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. You'll need to um, email either Travis or myself or call the office in order to get the Zoom sign-in information. Now, if you want to see your poinsettia decorating the sanctuary, we are going to have an open house. So many of us are skin hungry, as my husband Kevin says. And one of the things we're skin hungry for is to be in the church building at Christmas. So, not tomorrow, but a week from Monday, we will have an open house. The sanctuary will be unlocked from nine to four and you can come and sit in a pew and pray. You could get your selfie with the Christmas tree, or you can just sit and soak up the Christmas atmosphere. We will also have the building open from seven to eight if people say they want to. So no matter what time you want to come, please call the church office so we can reserve your spot and make sure there aren't too many people gathered in here. And that will help us decide if we can be open in the evening. In the beginning is how the story starts. The Bible says darkness covered the face of the deep while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. In Hebrew, the phrase wind from God can also mean spirit of God. It is that spirit of God, the wind from God, that blows over the earth and begins all creation. Joseph Martin used that same image of wind in his anthem, Bethlehem Wind. It is God's spirit in the Bethlehem wind that promises love and salvation. The Bethlehem wind is God's spirit of truth and hope. God's spirit in the Bethlehem wind blows away our sorrows and moves in the hearts of the nations. The Bethlehem wind, God's spirit, brings a new creation into our lives. Jesus, the Savior. O oh spirit, let the Bethlehem wind blow the love of Jesus into our hearts this Christmas time.
turns out that punctuation has a place in Christmas songs. Is it, God rest ye, comma, merry gentlemen? Are the gentlemen merry? Or is it, God rest ye merry, comma, gentlemen? Are we asking God to rest the gentlemen merry? Turns out it doesn't matter. Merry used to mean pleasant or bountiful, and rest means to keep. What we're asking is for God to keep gentlemen and us in pleasant or bountiful places, in green pastures and beside still waters. Christmas is hopefully a time of cheeriness and merriment, but Christmas always means trusting ourselves and our families and friends to God's good keeping. Even in pandemic, may God rest us merry. Emmanuel, our King and Lawgiver, the expected of the nations and their Savior, come and save us. O oh, day spring, brightness of the light eternal, and sun of justice, come and enlighten those who sit in the darkness and in the shadow of death. O oh, come, O oh, come, Emmanuel. We light these three candles as a reminder of the light that shines in the darkness, even in the darkness of a pandemic. George Frederick Handel echoes the cry of Advent. Come, Jesus, Holy Son of God, come.
Advent is the church season when we prepare for the coming of Christ. Advent is a time we listen to the prophets. The prophet Isaiah wrote, A shoot shall come out of the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. This is imagery of resurrection, a living shoot coming from a seemingly dead stump. The Christmas rose is an adaptation of Isaiah's prophecy, a beautiful flower coming out from the plainness of roots buried in the ground. Jesus is that Christmas rose, the beauty even in a pandemic ravaged world. Lo, how a rose air blew. Rudder's song, What Sweeter Music, seems to speak of Christmas in a time of pandemic. Rudder writes, dark and dull night, fly hence away, and give honor to this day that sees December turned to May. The COVID virus is a dark and dull night. And in the face of Christ's birth, even sickness and death must fly away and give honor to Christmas Day. December turns to May because even in the depths of gloom and cold, a rose blooms. Jesus, the shoot from the stump of Jesse. Jesus brings us light and growth. 
even in the face of darkness and disease. One. Ukrainian composer Mykola Leontovich, in 1914, wrote the tune of Carol of the Bells. Peter Wilhowski added the lyrics. Since, appropriately, the carol will be played on bells, here are the lyrics. Hark how the bells, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, throw cares away. Christmas is here, bringing good cheer. Two young and old, meek and the bold. Ding dong, ding dong, that is their song. With joyful ring, all caroling. 
One seems to hear words of good cheer from everywhere filling the air. Oh, how they pound, raising the sound, o'er hill and dale, tailing their tail. Gaily they ring, while people sing songs of good cheer. Christmas is here. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. On, on they send their joyful tone to every home. Hark how the bells. gift God has given us. No wonder Christmas revolves around gift giving. We imitate God's spirit of generosity in his Christmas gift to us. But how do we give to God in return? The prophet Micah asked the same question. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before God on high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with 10,000 rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? God has told you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you but to do justice? and to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. Gilbert Martin asks the same question in his anthem, The Jesus Gift. Shall I gather emeralds? Shall I bring him gold?
The Gospel of Luke says that when Jesus was born, the heavenly host praised God by saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to all. Angels speak. It's up to us humans to sing glory to God. And Natalie Sleep has adapted the message of the angels into a jazz tempo. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to all.
started in the beginning with God's Spirit blowing across the face of the waters and becoming the Bethlehem wind who brings us once more to the Christmas cradle. Gilbert Martin uses the wind image in his anthem, The Christmas Cradle. Why does the wind cry, he asks. The wind from God, the Bethlehem wind, God's own spirit, cries out for us to join in the celebration, even in the face of a pandemic. Jesus is born. May God's spirit, the wind that blows over creation and through Bethlehem, Guide all of us to Jesus' cradle of perfect love.